Hey guys, welcome back to Project Zomboid. The floor is lava challenge. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. If you missed the explanation, go back to the first video, uh, and you're still confused. But, I, uh, I had some pretty good luck today with this one particular house. Uh, and I don't just mean that I had a lot of furniture to blockade, uh, which is an experiment I want to do today, but it had some sort of survivalist equipment in it, so. I'm just gonna replay on the lower left everything that happened between this one and the last one. Well, I was on the way to create a circuit between all the houses, uh, because I figure, what better way to keep myself safe than to always have some sort of loop to run around in, uh, to avoid the zombies, and maybe put, like, a figure eight in the middle so that I could path, so that I could, you know, keep on weaving around and dodge them. This house actually ended up having a lot of seeds, and I did find, I don't know if it's here, is it in my main inventory? No, I left it in this crate. Uh, I did find a sledgehammer, which is gonna be really, really useful for us in this playthrough. Um, but you know what? I want to do this for the sake of experimentation, because that's most of what this playthrough is about anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna leave the stairs there for a while, and I just kind of want to figure out what happens when you put a ton of furniture in the way. Because I was talking with Cromulin Archer about this the other day when he was streaming, and he said that, like, all of their pathing got kind of messed up when you put this much stuff in the way. Um, and I've kind of suspected similar things, so I want to see what happens when I just put it all over the floor. Uh, but that's not the only thing in this house. It turns out that in the back, yes, I did manage to burn a chicken, don't ask any questions. Uh, but there were also a lot of seeds in the back. We found a random rake here, too. But I'm thinking that priorities for today, we've got to lie in wait for the helicopter event, because that's the one thing we were pretty much terrified about last time. Uh, and I'm still scared of the helicopter event, because if it hit me right now, I'd be stuck in an island on this house, and even if I tried to build out, there'd still be zombies everywhere, so it would make it really unpleasant to try to expand. Um, other than that, I'd like to maybe get a couple sheet ropes going down to the stairs, cut myself off a bit when the actual event's happening, but then after that, we're gonna have to clean up, and we're gonna have a lot more hordes to deal with, so it's still not easy from here on out. And I'm starting to think more about, right away, long-term needs. Um, now, one thing that I'm gonna try to do more this series is farm. And what I'd like to do is get, like, a stairway going up here, and get a third floor so that the zombies never have access to it, and then do all my farming up there. I'm gonna have to think more about rain collection, because it's really, really dry, because there's lava everywhere. Uh, <laughs> and there's also plant disease spreading around much more easily. So, planting crops is not gonna be any easy endeavor here. Uh, but I did discover one new thing about the game, and that's when I found a gravel bag in the survivalist house, and I actually, this is, it's slightly game-breaking, but it's gonna make possible, oh, it's a whole new series in the future that I really want to try. If you pour out gravel on a second floor, you can start digging through it and find worms in it, uh, which can feed you for a pretty long time. You'll lose a lot of weight, but you will find worms and you'll be fed for a while. Um, so yeah, that's most of what I wanted to go over. I think at this point, I'm just going to keep on deconstructing stuff. We'll see if we can get carpentry level 6, because what are we at right now? We did make 5, uh, but we're on our way up to 6. Maybe we'll catch a little bit more TV, and then find more tools and garages so that we can start building up here. Okay, so the other thing I actually forgot to mention was that I've been taking corpses now, because I want to keep these second floors clear of corpses, because otherwise I'll start to get sick. Uh, and yeah, I started a little bit more of a furniture blockade, but I put them all beneath the stairs. The reason why it's good to put corpses beneath the stairs is because, assuming that you're sleeping on the second floor, disease and sickness, or the feeling of sickness that you get from being around corpses, won't come up to the second floor. Um, so I'm doing that, and I just, I'm like aware of my own stupidity, so <laughs> I'm trying to put a little bit of floor out of every single window, especially because these western windows, I can't see what's outside of them, so I might jump out of one, and then there's nothing there. <laughs> and then, like, that would just be a dumb way for this whole thing to end. And, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So, at this point, let's just keep on getting up our carpentry. Alright, so no sign of the helicopter event yet, so I figure I may as well explore this next house. I want to get into these garages as soon as possible, because I'm going to need a lot of hardware equipment, uh, more nails if I want to keep expanding, 
because we're like we're gonna run out of food fast and I don't know about this crop situation we might be I, like it might end up being starvation that that kills me in most of my playthroughs I've heard that starvation is the main killer uh, for long-term ones okay right now we've got an unknown number behind that door I'm just gonna try to listen for a second I think it's one or two but I'm not betting on that, so I think that the best way to approach this is to leave <laughs> and never come back. Uh, no, nah, we're gonna try to build over there. I'm gonna see if I can scrounge up some other planks, look in this window, see if it's safer over there, and then come through. Because I'd rather them come to me than me try to go through there and figure out what's behind the door. If anything I've learned about combat in the new build, it's it's that you should never, <laughs> you should never try to attack uh, an unknown door. Okay, yeah, they broke it down, it sounds like. Uh, I gotta check this, because I might end up needing to do, use my sledge here in two seconds. Let me just get that out. Throw it on my back. It's nice to have a character who's not all thumbs this time. I gotta say, that was probably... Okay, so we were better off. It was three in there, and I think at this point, I'm just gonna destroy this. Can I do this really, really fast? Nope, alright, I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm gonna have to dodge these ones, maybe lead them back around, or even lead them off to the other side. I wasn't thinking I was gonna have to fight them like this, though, and my character's not really in great condition to fight yet. Okay, we're gonna have to get out the window now, or you know what, we could even just kite them off this. That would be better. Ultimately, though, I'm gonna need to take that whole house down. Yeah, there we go, there's one. He's gonna come back up through, though, and he'll probably be banging on the barricades downstairs. Uh... <laughs> I don't really want to put away the sledge, but... Okay, let's take out the hammer. You know what? Some of you guys had said to me to use the hammer, and in previous builds, it had not been that good, but I realized it's kind of turned into a god weapon, or it's it's kind of like the equivalent of the old knife, because it pretty much one-shots zombies once they're down. Okay, we don't know who's behind there. I'm kind of in trouble here. Let me just go back out this window. I'd rather lead them off than try to fight them right here. It's not worth it, because if another one comes through there, I'm dead. Don't fight. You could fight one, but don't try to fight. Don't try to fight two unless if you're really good in combat, and three, you might be dead. If you if you do any more than that, then you're a maniac. <laughs> okay, uh, man. The one thing I do wish would change a bit is, see how I can't see through that window from over there? Like, it's all just darked out. If I could see that, then I'd be better off fighting in window. Yeah, like that. I had no clue that she was coming through there. Is that a she? Oh, no, it's a he. My bad. He looks exactly like me, you know what, it's the Donnie haircut. Alright, uh, we're gonna leave all this heavy clothing for now because we're in an incredibly hot climate and I'm not gonna need that at all. Alright, we're gonna keep our ears peeled. Do you keep your ears- no, you keep your eyes peeled. Keep our ears... whatever. Whatever our ears are. Oh, he's got a duffel. I kinda want him up here. But at the same time, I think I'm just gonna cut off this other house because it's- it's a little too risky for right now. Alright, to me, it sounds like they just made it through downstairs, so I'm gonna check it out. I want to know how they're dealing with these barricades. Alright, so that guy's... he's just attacking chairs. They're not even really in his way. And I think that might be part of how, like, zombies are pretty much magnetically attracted to barricades and player-built, or maybe even player-moved objects. So, I don't know. I mean, so far this barricade thing is succeeding pretty well. Let's just speed up time. I want to see how... Okay, so how quickly- he, he got through that fairly quickly, but then he doesn't even try to come get me, because does he see me here? I, don't, I might not even under, end up having to sledge these stairs at all, I might just have a giant horde in my basement, and nothing to do with it. Um, let's see, very hungry, severely depressed, and fairly- that's exactly where I'm used to being at. You know, let's build around on the other side. I take back what I said. All right, we got another group coming. Uh, don't like this situation. Oof, damn, that was close, actually. Uh, but I think one of them fell down. So these platforms are working out pretty well. Let's just take out our hammer really quick. I think I can fight this one. Yeah, should be able to take her out. And then, you know what? I might just cut off the stairs. I'll, <laughs> I'll use my sheet rope and just go down a couple times to see if I can figure out what's going on downstairs, but this is starting to become too distracting. And I am kind of putting my life in danger here. Even if it's for the sake of science. 
Okay, so I figure they're just hitting random furniture down here. He doesn't even see me, so what I'm gonna try to do is this. I'll take out the- Oh wait, no, I don't- I don't want to take out the stairs from here, because then I have no way of getting back up. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, shit! Damn. That was really close. Alright, let's take out the hammer. It looks like there's another one right behind there, too. Oh, but you brought your duffel bag to me as well. Uh, I won't argue with that. We're gonna take that off her hands. Uh, that's great because we're gonna be able to carry around even more stuff. Let's just take all of this. Uh, we'll throw it on the floor. It's too bad you can't just put it directly into the duffel. I'd like that. Alright, let's replace school bag with duffel bag. We don't need this anymore. Actually, it looks like some proper survivalist gear. Uh, and now we're gonna do this. Take this. We don't need the wardrobe. We don't even need some of this other stuff in here. Let's grab the needle. We do want to get tailoring soon. I'd be- it'd be nice if we could get some tar tailoring in here. Uh, and we should be able to get thread from furniture. Um, what else? Alright, you know what? How, how I might end up having to do this. Nah, actually this isn't gonna work at all. I'm gonna have to take- <laughs> I'm gonna have to take out a hole in the middle of the floor and get a sheet rope going somewhere in here, so I'm gonna work it out for just one second. Okay, this is definitely not one of the more normal looking fixtures that I've built in the game, but if I want to take out the stairs and get up and Ah, I put that in the wrong spot. <laughs> Can I still use it somehow? Uh, yeah, you know what, I could- I could probably move out this barricade a little bit. Alright, we found an M1911 on one of these zombies, too. I swear, we're just gonna be taking them all out by this- from the second floor. I've heard that's a pretty good strategy to start shooting from a higher floor. Especially if they can't get to you, which is true right here. Except at that point, I'm gonna be like, canned food. Um, let's see, very hungry- we- we're actually okay with the very hungry, because we're obese, and we do need to lose some weight. And I chose that partially because I- I didn't want to have to think about it. Um... Let's see, how the hell are we gonna get up there? So we need to free up this square. Alright. Quickly aggro this guy to me. I just want to show you how good an item this is. I swear, look at how- look at all my moodles that I've got on the right side. And that guy's still just taken out in like two hits. Seriously, like, you gotta try out the hammer. It's a very good item now. Um, let's see. Place this down here. They should still be- I- I think I'm gonna need double layers of these boxes, but they should still be pretty confused. If I am here, and I also just want to watch the fireworks down here. Alright, let's grab this. Though it does look like they did kind of a number on it already, but... Hopefully you see what I'm going for at this point. Yep. Okay, so now as long as this works, we should be able to get back... <laughs> I thought I fell right there for a second. How's she gonna handle this? Eventually, yeah, they could take down this rope, but... There's always gonna be a way up and down, and I'm only gonna be sealed in here for a little while for the helicopter event. Then we're pretty much gonna have to make our way out again. Alright, let's just destroy these stairs. I'm pretty sure that I can't destroy them from- I mean, I could destroy other landings by the stairs. Actually, can I? Nah, you know, I think it's because it's technically defined on the lower floor that I can't do these. Alright, so we're gonna take out the stairs here. And then we'll just live upstairs for a little while. I'll still come back down here to watch it, because I'm curious how they're gonna handle these barricades. I'll still dump corpses down here, but otherwise it's gonna be the same. Okay, so one other Moodle that I'm starting to realize we're gonna have to deal with quite often is unhappiness and depression. Just because we're gonna be spending most of our time indoors. So I might want to get some infrastructure set up so that I could be running around outdoors, because generally speaking that's the most renewable way to get rid of unhappiness in the game. Of course there's antidepressants, of course there's like good tasting food. Um, but you do tend to run out of some of that stuff, uh, pretty fast, too. And we don't have any traits that are gonna make us perpetually unhappy, but... I don't know, it just tends to come on, uh, as the game wears on. And if we can- oh yeah, this was an electrician's house, too. What I'd really like to do is start making a lot of traps, because... <laughs> I'm so used to playing an illiterate character, who can't read anything, that to play a character who can actually read magazines, feels broken. <laughs> Um, ultimately, I would want to get some bird traps going on the upper floor, too, because I, I don't know how cold it'll get in winter, but if I could just stave off the hunger, and the, I, I still feel like that's going to be the main killer over time. Look at this guy. He can take apart furniture, and it doesn't break. It feels so good to play this character, though. Okay, what I'm thinking I'm gonna start doing is to just take out the staircases in the houses that I link up so that I have some houses in my network that are guaranteed to be safe. 
Um, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but it, this playthrough is pretty much going to work like this. I have a limited amount of ground to work with, and anytime I want to add new ground, um, I'm going to want to like be really careful about clearing out that one house. The one danger in this would be if they started piling up on some of my houses, which would make it really hard to take new houses. Um, but what I can do is this. Uh, if you don't use a sledgehammer a lot, you can't really destroy a staircase from the top of the stairs So what you have to do is go in like this and they might be able to get through this diagonal area right here um, but That should work uh, uh, I don't really want to test it But I'm gonna take out this other piece of flooring just to be safe and I don't think that they can hop over that Maybe like when they're unseen they'll do it somehow, but I figure if we do this, this house is now safe, so now my island is expanded from this house to the house over there, which I knew I liked, uh, and I did cut off from that one across the street, but eventually we'll keep on doing this for our houses until we have better carpentry. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do when we go to garages. I think we're gonna have to just do like a one and done for one floor houses. Either that or add a second story to them, because we won't be able to keep them linked up to our network. Uh, but it's definitely like a weird... It's it's gonna like by the time that we get to the tenth video, this place is gonna look so strange, and that's that's half the reason I did this. Okay, so this house is another prime example. She is starting to hit the barricades. I think it's because they're one layer thick. Uh, though there is, uh, yeah, there's still planks down there. Okay, I'm gonna have to go down in here because I am getting kind of low on planks right now, and I've had difficulty with these hardwood floors. Because my carpentry skill is too high, so my character doesn't really tend to break them. Uh, and I have to keep placing them and then picking them back up. So, as much as I can, I just want to work with these things. Uh, I am going to have a moment where I'm undefended. Let's just get unencumbered. Alright, she made it up the stairs. We're just going to take her out really quick. I think I... I should probably check on my hammer's condition, but I think I found one other hammer in that house with the farmer. I swear, that was the luckiest house. But it's going to set me up so much better for the rest of the playthrough. Okay, we found this. Uh, avocado. Oh, wait. This is this is already in my fridge. I was going to say, avocado is a great food. I've been reading up on nutrition lately. And I'm going to need a lot of fats and carbohydrates. Uh, so that's a great early game item. I might even want to keep some weight on me. Even though that I'm already pretty fat right now. Okay, I don't remember exactly which trap I need for birds. But these hunter magazines are going to come in really handy. Uh, because that's gonna be one of the only things that I can forage. I figure if the floor is lava, the birds still probably have somewhere to perch and they can pick out, I don't know, scraps to eat. But, uh, any other animals? I guess, except for mice or anything that I could catch inside, or just whatever I can do, you know, like at the top of a staircase, or in a house. Uh, any of that stuff is not fair game anymore. Alright, we found a ton of planks, uh, so I'm carrying 12 on me right now because my character is so strong. But at this point, what I'm what I'm kind of planning on doing is that when they do attack with the horde event, um, I'm going to stay in these two houses because these are my island right now. And then once it's over, I want to be able to expand out in a couple different directions at once. Because if I too quickly link up to only one spot, it's going to be like opening the floodgates. Like, if I build over to only this one house, and then I can't take out the staircase, then I'm going to have a lot more to deal with. So right now, it's in my interest to expand over a wide area and cut off the stairs so that once the horde event happens, or once the helicopter event happens, um, then they'll kind of spread out. Like, I've, I've noticed that the way that they get aggroed to me when I'm on the second floor is they just kind of go under me. Um, and then if there is a way to get up to me, they'll come into a nearby house and try to get up the stairs. So sometimes, like, I'm not looking close enough, so this one snuck up behind me. So you gotta be careful with it. But that's more or less the way we gotta play this until we get to that horde event. Alright, so this house should have zombies in it still. And I'm gonna cut off the staircase at the top. I'm probably not even gonna check the- Damn. <laughs> I, I was looking for the ones upstairs first, not even her. I think that this one might even be the same model though as the last house, so what I might end up doing is just taking out a hole in the bathroom again, putting some planks in- Okay, we're probably gonna get swarmed in a second. She almost bit my foot. Uh, at this point, uh, I'm, I'm wondering why I even bothered coming here. We're so winded and exhausted. Maybe I'll just- you know what, maybe I'm just gonna cut off this house. Now I'm gonna need these planks. Alright, we gotta do it. 
I'm just gonna push her off though. I'm too weak to take her out. Uh, we gotta crawl her right through that. No, she's not right through the window. Okay, this one's probably gonna come back up the stairs to try to kill me. So let's just take out the crawler really fast if we can. Strength, don't fail me now. Crawlers are such a- still they're a pain in so many ways. Different ways than they were before, but still a pain. Alright, I just took out the floor from beneath that zombie's feet. I've never done that before. But I gotta cut myself off and I gotta keep these planks, so I gotta do it. Um, we're gonna see if we can cut off that- I better stop moving as I walk- as I talk. Uh, we're gonna cut off that first house, and then- I don't know, I don't want to expand in this direction, so maybe I'll go across the street. But I gotta rest, too, because my character is getting really quickly winded. Just because of the nature of the work that he has ahead of him. Even though that he's very strong, he's gotta carry around all these really heavy, uh, tools. Like, I need to have a sledgehammer, all this construction equipment, and a lot of planks on me all the time, unfortunately. One nice part about all the zombie corpses right now that I'm finding is that I pretty much have unlimited sheet ropes. Uh, and I didn't think I would need sheet ropes before this challenge, but they are gonna come in handy just because anytime I destroy a staircase, I still want access to all the stuff that I'm finding on the lower floor, and I can always cast down a few more. So I am gonna leave some of these on the upper floors, uh, even though that they might make me sick. I might just put them in a different room or something, somewhere away from my bed, because it- sickness doesn't transfer across floors. Um, or like the nauseating nature of corpses doesn't, but, uh, I, I'm pretty sure if you like, space them out enough, you're okay. Somehow I managed to cut off the first floor of the main house that I was in, and somehow that fridge is still floating in midair, which is kind of awesome. I'm not going to question it too much. It does give me safety, and it gives me a place to store my delicious avocados. Um, weirdly enough, you can put a fridge inside of another fridge in Project Zomboid, which is probably one of my favorite parts of the game. <laughs> um, we're, we're gonna do we're gonna do a lot of things that seem pretty ridiculous in this playthrough. Just try not to question them at all. <laughs> okay, uh, well we cut off all three houses, so we're now pretty much living on an island. I can still watch what they do with the barricades, and I think I am gonna go down there for the helicopter event just to watch the fireworks. Uh, but we're now low on food. I can get worms from the ground, but like I said, um, I think I want to keep some fat on me just while the power is on, so I am going to need an avocado right now. Even though that an avocado is probably one of the most fattening foods in the game. Uh, does it have the same model as a lime? Actually, there are no limes. <laughs> I just made that up. Oh, actually, yeah, our weight's still dropping. I guess we didn't have 2,000 calories. I, I think that the way that the weight system works, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure that it's if you don't have 2,000 calories and like enough carbs and lipids throughout the day You don't gain weight and I think there's like a threshold or maybe it's related to when you go to sleep But yeah, I've been trying to read up on that and better understand it just so that it's not so mystifying um, Honestly like in real life a lot of people struggle with that so I figure eh, it kind of makes sense Alright, I just woke up, and we've got the helicopter event totally happening, so here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is kind of like the, the ultimate climax of today. But what it's gonna do is make a few passes over, and it's pretty much gonna hone in on my location, so everybody from around the neighborhood, uh, unless if they get stuck on a fence, is gonna be headed straight toward my location, so... This is basically where the playthrough ramps up in difficulty. Um, I'm gonna have a lot coming through here. And, yeah, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting <laughs> to see where they path. That, that's probably the part where I'm most interested in it. Like, are they gonna be attracted to the helicopter, to me? Uh, and once I have enough around here, I'm just gonna head downstairs. Because I can always just duck out by climbing that sheet rope that I had in this house. Um, but I want to see how they deal with those barricades, because I might make more extensive use of those. Uh, if I still want to use the first floors of houses, and don't get me wrong. I do want to use the first floors as much as possible, I just don't have that much ground to deal with. I mean, ultimately we could even have a whole set of green houses down there if, if everything works out. Okay, so more or less as I suspected, I just aggroed them to see where they go. And I think all the zombies, like there's a bunch, see that shadow right underneath me? I think there's a bunch that are right there. 
because they don't have any path to get to me, so I guess by their, like, pathing algorithm or something, they just go underneath the- <laughs> they just go directly underneath me. They're like sharks waiting for a guy to go down. Um, at the, actually, you know what would be great is just building more of these cross walkways so that I can get a better picture of what's going on. Yep, that's pretty much it. Though they don't always get aggroed, so what I'm pretty much going to have is what I had feared. Every time I try to go to a new house, assuming that they keep on moving like this, I'm going to have a lot of zombies pretty much just waiting in there trying to kill me, and I'm going to need to expand the network and make it more confusing if I don't want them to do that, so... Uh, um... We don't really have enough planks to just build a circuit here anymore. I think I'm probably going to build out to that house next. That red one, and then after that, we'll try to link back to these, just so that we have some sort of network. And then... Ah, I don't know, I'll, I'll look around from there again, but yeah, that's a pretty good plan for right now. This helicopter seems to have stopped. Kind of early, too. Might make another pass back over. Yeah, at this point, they're all starting to stack up here. Okay, so... I'm gonna build... like this. If I go to that house... I want to have a bunch of different entrances ready to the second floor, because if they all come funneling out of one, I'm going to need to retreat back in my network, and I'm not going to have enough room to fight them. So, let's see if we can link up to a couple different entrances there, and maybe even a few buildings at once. So I'm going to need to keep a lot of planks in reserve. Okay, so we're built more or less right up to this window. But, uh, I don't want them to come and try to kill me when I go into that house, because if I build right there, I guarantee you I'm going to get like 10 spill out of the thing. So, uh, I don't know, it's kind of tricky here. What I might end up trying to do is find a bunch of alarm clocks just to throw them off of where I'm going to be coming down, so that when I want to attack a new building, I can set off the alarms in nearby buildings, attack that building, take out the staircase, and then like, safely expand the network, and I'll have to keep on moving around those alarm clocks, but first I'm gonna have to find those alarm clocks if I don't want to make this happen. So, let's just keep our eyes out for that. Digital watches will work, too. Alright, moment of truth here. Uh, I'm kinda running short on planks, so... I'm either gonna need to take out some door- Oh, we do have four planks over here. Never mind. I'll be okay. But, um, I wanna see how they deal with this, and I do still wanna get a chair from downstairs. Just because I don't mind sleeping with a little bit of neck pain, and if I could do it, and then free up that bed's planks, that's another seven more planks for me. So let's just make sure we're okay. Um, crap, is there any way I could check downstairs before I do this? I really don't want to, like, climb down there, and then just learn that there's 20 of them in there. <laughs> you know what, scratch this plan. I may need to do it another way. Yeah, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be safe doing this. Get out of sheet rope over there. But there's still no way of peering downstairs, so... <laughs> this is not gonna be a safe long-term strategy. Um... Yeah, you know what, screw it, I'm not doing that, I'm just gonna... Mm, nah, I do need it. I can't, it's too bad you can't sleep on a toilet. I'm just thinking of my long-term needs right here. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't have to defecate in this game. So that's not even something I'm thinking about. Uh... You know what? Screw it. It doesn't look like that they're so bad in here. So I'm gonna head over to the other house. Because I think they're all aggroed to me over there across the street. Yeah. More or less. Let's see if we can quickly take out the staircase in this house and then find a chair on the upper floor in here. Okay, we're in. And... Uh... Really, really fast. I'm just gonna see if I can take out one of these floors. Yep, nope. Not happening. Okay, now I'm in more trouble. Um... I can hardly see in the window. Let's just stay out here. I'm just gonna push him off. I don't even want to take the time to deal with this guy. Nope. Not have it. Alright, well, let's hit in his head. And I've already bit off more than I could chew. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna destroy this tile really quick. Please, 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 please work. Please work, please work, please work. Nope, not working. Okay, not happening. Don't want to fight her. Uh... We're in... That guy's dead? Oh no, he's probably a crawler now at this point. I almost let her get a bite in on me. Okay, now we've got them all streaming in. Did not want this situation. You know what? She might be a crawler at this point. I gotta cut off that other house at this point. Yep, those two are now gonna be crawlers. And she just went through the floor too. Uh, okay, well... 
You know what? While we- <laughs> this is a huge shit show. I'm just gonna scream, try to get them all to follow me over here, and then I'm gonna have to go back across the street and do that house instead. I need more planks, because I'm running out of food. You know what, scratch what I said two seconds ago, I'm actually not running out of food because I can always just dig up some worms here. Eventually, like, I'll lose weight, but I do have a short-term, uh, short-term food supply. Uh, let's see. Actually, short and medium-term, just not, like, years long, because I'm so obese. But it also makes me very unhappy. But I'm already in severely depressed for some, <laughs> for some reason. I can't even really put my finger on why. Alright, let's go to the other house now, and we're gonna do this. I've been using this mechanic just to train my sneak. Um, I figure I may as well keep on sneaking on these upper platforms. One, it's slow, so I get to be more careful. Two, they probably won't spot me once I get good enough at it. And three, uh, it's good. I don't know. So, <laughs> okay, let's put down this floor. And first thing we want to do on any of these houses is just cut off the staircase really, really fast. If I can't do it, I gotta retreat back, and that's why it's good to have long paths on the way here. I'm gonna try to keep them as long and winding as possible. Okay, let's go for this one. I don't even think it's worth it to scout out the rooms. I'm probably just better off just destroying the stairs, so I'm gonna destroy these two, two tiles. One here, one there. And then I'll clear out the rooms. Okay, we're almost, we're almost home free. I don't think that they can get over this diagonal pass. Just keeping our backs turned for one second. You know what? Screw it. I don't think it can happen, but in some, like, ungodly, nightmarish world, they're gonna get through it, and, like, ten of them to me. So let's just cut it off. Unfortunately, you can't destroy the top step. Uh, I think that's part of, like, the... You have to destroy that from below. Or whatever it is. Okay, let's see. Nobody in here. Check the bathroom. Keep checking the hammer. I don't like leaving my back exposed like that. We got to anyway. Nobody in here. Let's check behind the door. Nobody there. Is this house safe? Nobody in here. Anybody in here? Nobody in here. But for some reason, there's a broken down door. I guess they went downstairs. Okay, so there's probably a bunch of the downstairs. So we'll need to be careful when we attack that part. But now we just added another house. And the other one next to us is pretty good condition, too. Um. Well, it looks like the helicopter event's over, so now I'm going to kind of switch to my medium-term strategy. And that's just clearing out these houses. So let's get rid of this depression. <laughs> and let's just keep on taking apart furniture, because the sooner we can get downstairs into those garages, the better. Alright, it sounds like they broke down the door downstairs. Um, and I'm starting to realize one flaw in my plan. Most of the food in these houses is on the lower floors, so... <laughs> I'm going to have to do one of two things. Either this... Do I have my bag of gravel on me? Nah, I don't have it on me. Okay, I'm either gonna have to dig up worms from gravel that I put out in the ground for a long time. <laughs> which I'll do right now just to show you how it works. Um, or, yeah, do we have gravel here? Gravel bag, take that on me. And I'm gonna need a shovel too. Okay, somehow a zombie made it upstairs in here, which is... Why the spawns freak me out, because I think that... I think that they do spawn on the upper floors sometimes. Because I can't figure- she could not have gotten up that, and there's no way in from the other side. So, I don't know. Some things that I thought would be easier are more difficult, and some things that I thought would be more difficult are easier, I guess is just what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm just gonna set out a few points here, and I want to show you how to do this, because I, I don't think I've ever even done this in another series. But I want to have a few spots where I can just dig up for worms along here. And let's go over to this spot. It should be on, like... You know what, I think it would be especially weird if we just put it in a house. So let's do it. <laughs> um, shovel, equip in both hands. And now we can pour out gravel. Let's just put it on the ground here. Right next to this window. And then we should be able to dig a furrow. <laughs> That's gonna give us a chance of finding them. I mean, eventually, we could start to make our own greenhouses indoors. I don't know if we'll be better off because it's warmer inside. Uh, or better insulated. Don't tell me this doesn't work in here. It might be that when you're indoors, it doesn't work. Ah, you know what? I think that's it. That's gotta be it, because that would explain how I found them in the gravel earlier. Okay, I gotta go slower here, but let's try this. Pour out gravel from the gravel bag. Right here. I swear, they freak me out. I keep hearing them, like, right behind me, but they're a floor below me. Okay, let's dig a furrow here, and we should be able to find some. 
Nah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's it. I can find a couple. Now, I mean, this isn't going to feed me forever. It'll feed me for a few months because r worms have only pro- or mostly just protein in them. You'd probably need to eat hundreds, which you just can't find with a day's labor, uh, if you wanted to gain weight from it. So, in the long term, you can't live off of worms. But in the short term, yeah, you can live off of worms. Okay, so let's just finish this off. And if I want any decent nutrition, I am going to have to start clearing out the lower parts of house. Because that's where all the refrigerators are. And I'm going to need to do that in the long term. So we'll have to figure out a new strategy for how we attack these houses. You know what I'm also starting to realize that I probably should have done on the first day is... It's really dry here, and we're not going to get a lot of rain. And I'm probably first going to die of thirst than anything else. So what I'd better start to do now is go downstairs to kitchens, find some bowls and other things that I could put water in, and just fill all of them up from the taps. Uh, soon the water is going to go off, so that's more urgency to get down to the first floors of these buildings. I might not have it quite as easy as I thought I did. Okay, um... But we gotta sleep. Yeah, it's like, it's just the whole combination of factors. I've never had a character who got this exhausted this early in the game. Usually that's more of a late game endeavor. Alright, but you know what, I guess we're gonna just have to sleep until we have energy again. We're gonna have to do everything with this depression as well. Alright, I did say that I wanted to see what it would be like at these lower floors. And since I've been away from this house a little while, I think it's fine. Alright, so they haven't even attacked any of the furniture down here. I'm going to occasionally make a trip down here because I do need to get these seeds back again. Uh, but it looks like they do get caught up on barricades. So even if I hadn't found that sledgehammer, barricades would have been a perfectly good way to just lead them on down there. At least for a while. I, I'm sure it would have stalled them for a couple days. Enough for the helicopter event to pass anyway. Alright, let's go to sleep now. Yeah, woke up with a zombie right on me. I either missed the path... Or they're spawning in upstairs, because that's not normal. Um, they might be spawning in residences, so I'm gonna have to really cut myself off. Like, I'm gonna- shit. Wait, is there a path over there? Did I make- I may have made a path to the other ha I totally didn't do that, did I? That would be so dumb. Ah, man, you're trying to destroy my crate too, I got all my valuables in that crate. Jeez. Um, yeah, you know what, either I didn't cut off that house, or they're spawning in the upstairs. <laughs> that would be terrible. Yeah, I cut off this floor, what the hell? Oh, you know what, they're... I was right about the diagonals, they can come through there. Okay, so I'm gonna need to make sure I do that in the pathfinding. Um, still, that doesn't really explain... There was one in the last house. I'm glad I at least got to see that one come over, because otherwise I've just been puzzled for a really long time. But yeah, I remember this from my Dead Rising playthrough, when I tried to lead everybody through the mall. Um, okay, we're gonna have to destroy this one too. Crap. Ah, uh, another one. Alright, you know what, we'll just push you off. Alright, so that guy came through, but I destroyed that part, so it looks like he's just puzzled which way to go. So I think I'm just gonna head back in. Now this house is <laughs> safe. I think. I, I'm just gonna have to keep on, like, checking everywhere that I've worked. Only because I'm probably gonna leave a few paths open. I should have one house that I know for sure is safe. Alright, let's see if we can get rid of the rest of that tiredness. I think it's good. They can't climb sheet ropes. I was thinking of trying not zombies with navigation. I don't know if those can climb sheet ropes. That would actually be pretty incredible. Yeah, I think we're safe. I'm just gonna make one last quick check of the other house and then go to bed. Again. Alright, it looks like they're starting to gather up now on the ground, and there are going to be a lot that come in here, but I think before zombies, it's going to be water, so really the two long-term needs right here are water, because it's just such a dry environment, and then just not getting swarmed when we go into houses, so I didn't leave that path totally cleared last night. I mean, I think when it's that far, they just don't even sense how far to go, because I think that's too much computational power on the engine. So at this point, I think, uh, I don't know, I think I'm going to try to just tackle this house and we're going to have to go to a couple kitchens because that's not going to work out. And also these indoor furrows aren't going to work for finding worms. We can use those for crops though, I mean in the winter if it gets cold enough, but it is a really hot climate too. So, Alright, uh, let's go in here. 
Maybe tackle one more house. Okay, I'm starting to realize that probably the most dangerous part of this playthrough is going to be <laughs> taking going down uh, via sheet ropes to these lower floors. So a way that I'm thinking of trying it out is maybe cutting off part of it and then coming in underneath or behind a staircase. That way my character... Mm, actually, can I even do that? Nah, that might not work out. I'm going to have to make a lot of noise in other places and then <laughs> see if I can guess where they are underneath me because I don't want to jump down into a giant horde of like 30 of them. Um, but we can craft these sheet ropes. We should have more clothes in here probably. Oh, damn. Okay, that's pretty nice. Since we're carrying around so much stuff, this was a really good fa uh, find. Um, yeah, let's replace the duffel bag with the big hiking bag. But again, we gotta get that water going soon, only because the taps are gonna give out soon, and it's not gonna rain much here. So that'll force me to make even more desperate plays to go into kitchens and grab water bottles from the last remaining fridges. Um, okay, so let's... Or the last remaining water bottles from fridges, so... Let's just fill everything up. Everything that we got. And then... Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll try to go down and just hit as many kitchens as we possibly can. Get those containers. Alright, see this? I don't like this. That means that whenever I go downstairs into these houses, I'm gonna have that to deal with. So what I'm gonna do right now is just shout a lot so that they come out of those houses. Yeah, look at him coming from all over the neighborhood. I think I took conspicuous too. Wasn't that one of my traits? Um, no, actually, I didn't take Conspicuous. I took Clumsy. So I'm making more noise when I'm moving, too. So this might actually turn out to be a really good trait here because I can get them to follow me here. And then if I get my sneak up enough, I could avoid them. Maybe they'll lose track of me, and then I could dive into these kitchens, grab the bowls, get the water out, and then preserve a lot of water. Because right now, I am I feel like I'm standing on top of an island about to get eaten by sharks. I'm sorry, that was a terrible analogy. I think, uh, sinking ship would have been a better one. At this point, though, let's just really quickly go down. This was a lucky spot because we're between two pieces of furniture, but I'm just gonna quickly pick up one of them. Let's see, if we can just get one house's worth of that water, that would be good. Let's right, put that back down. It looks like that they aren't hearing me, and then we're just gonna go in here. Bowl. Okay, anything like this. Just anything that can contain water in it. We gotta grab that stuff out. Okay, salt. Yeah, eventually we'll want some of this stuff. The food is okay. Um, I'm gonna have to think about cooking and stuff like that more, though, too. Um, any food in here, too? Fresh radishes? This is why it was good to get a refrigerator up on the second floor on, like, the first day. Okay, at this point... Um, any beginner books too? I mean, they are okay. Farming from beginners is going to be fantastic. I won't even need mechanics, so I'll just leave that. Eventually, I don't know if you could fish from the second floor, but if you can, I'd love to do it. Battery? Nah, we don't need that. And at this point, okay, we're out of here. We got to go. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with them at this spot. Okay, that's great because if we go down on furniture too, because I'm more or less going down on a random item. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm hearing them coming. We gotta get out of here, like, now. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get it. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> you can hear them, like, sniffing for me. Oh, man, I might have even wanted to try to, like, a more stealthy character, but... Okay, we got bowls. We could fill this up, and what I, I'm gonna have to do until we get rain collectors and everything else, and I can plumb a sink or something like that. We're just gonna have to put a bunch of bowls and other cooking gear out on these rooftops and pray for rain. Yeah, look, it looks like they already took down the sheet rope, so that's how close I was. <laughs> nice. Okay, I got a bowl of water. I'm just gonna throw that down in here. I think I'm gonna put away... Ah, uh, no, I could eat this radish. It's produce. It's not that bad for me. Um... I could do cooking, but I just want to make sure I can serve as much as possible for the water. The reason why this water is even more valuable than the rainwater is because it's not tainted yet. And as far as... Wait, I didn't... I didn't totally fill it up. Um, and if you put clean water out with rainwater, it does go bad. Or, like, it gets tainted, and we want to minimize that as much as possible. We're not going to have so much access to wood, so we can't purify everything. So we got to make do with what we've got. Um, actually, oh, shit. Did the water already go off? If the water is already off, that's going to make this way more difficult. 
Let me just use up some of it. Bowl of water. Either that or I'm just getting like a right click error right here. Fill yeah, I know I'm doing it from the toilet bowl. That's kind of gross, but it's just as good quality for Project Zomboid. Okay, uh, we got the bowl of water. That's safe. I'm going to leave this indoors so that it doesn't get tainted. All right, I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be food and water. I'm well, the food I got covered, I'll just be severely depressed, but it's going to be water. Water and hordes like this. All right, so we've figured out a few of our new problems. Uh, I think I'm going to call it there because we're relatively safe. We did make it through the helicopter event. And we found a few items that I thought would be game-breakingly good in that house. But we're still not totally safe and there's going to be more zombies spawning. And we'll have more like tense moments like that where I don't have... Uh, where I can't predict what's underneath me. So I'm going to see if I could figure out how to solve that problem coming down on the sheet ropes. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if you have any other ideas, and just leave them down in the comments. I've got, gotten tons of good challenge ideas, but uh, yeah, I really want to do this one full justice. Alright, thanks for watching it, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.